This is the number one question I get asked, and the answer is We'll get to the full answer shortly, but first, I wanted to give you a few updates about Strange Parts. The last month has been a total whirlwind for me. I released my second video to a huge response again. Thank you. I did a ton of interviews, and I even got a chance to do my first live studio taping in front of an audience, and that was pretty cool. But first, you know what I want to do? What? I want to take a gander over to another part of the studio so we can learn all about drilling into an iPhone. This is cool. All right, let's, let's, take, a, let's take a walk down to the, uh, the fun side of the studio. Oh. I haven't been here in so long. <laughs> oh, we're here with Scotty, Scotty Allen. I also did my first YouTube collaboration with China's first YouTuber. Well, I mean, most people that know you know you as the iPhone guy. Yeah. So I thought what we'd do is we'd take this opportunity to just tell people who you are and give, give them a bit of a backstory so yeah, that they, totally. they don't just call you, hey, it's that iPhone guy. Totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out the description for a link to that. And I flew around the world. I visited four countries, six cities, uh, three countries I'd never been to before, and I gave two talks. One at the Noisebridge Hackerspace in San Francisco, where I'm a member. This is a very fast pick-and-place machine. It's a turret pick-and-place machine. And one at the Web Expo conference in Prague. I haven't designed that many circuit boards before, and uh, if you're like me, this looks really intimidating. And I spent a ton of time researching new stories and shooting more video. But in the process, I got totally burned out. So I had to take a, a pretty mandatory one to two week break here and recharge my batteries, but I'm back here in Shenzhen, back in the swing of things, and a bunch of people have been asking me, Scotty, why don't you release videos more frequently? And the truth is, these big, huge videos take a lot longer to make than you might think, but there's a lot of other stuff I'm excited to talk about and share with you guys, so I thought I'd make some smaller videos like this one while I work on the bigger stuff. This is gonna be a bit of an experiment, so leave a comment with what you like. But let's get down to the main question for this video. I, I've been getting lots of emails and comments and, and messages from people with all sorts of questions. Uh, and unfortunately, I, I'm a little bit buried. And uh, while I do try and read everything, I haven't been able to really give everybody a detailed response. And, and that makes me a little sad. Um, but a lot of people ask similar or the same questions. And so I thought rather than giving everybody a, a rushed answer, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, uh, maybe I could sit down and make a nicer video where I can go into more depth and, and really answer it in the detail that, that does it justice. So the number one question I get is how much did it cost you to make your own iPhone success? And there are a couple answers here, but I know the answer everybody wants, which is $300. It cost $300 for the parts that went into the actual iPhone success I bought. Maybe a little bit more, but in that range. But that's not the full story. I spent a lot more than that. I probably spent over $1,000 on replacements for parts that I broke, on tools, on buying the wrong part and then having to go back and get the right part. Um, I bought some books, uh, things like that. So while in the end, the parts ended up costing me $300, nobody I know that's tried to make their own iPhone like I have has gotten away without having to buy extra stuff. Somewhere between $300 and $1,000 is, is probably what you can expect to spend if you come here to Shenzhen and try and build your own iPhone like I did. But I don't think this is the question that people actually want an answer to. I think what a lot of people really want to know is, is building my own iPhone the cheapest way to get an iPhone? And the answer is no, not really. Uh, and <laughs> let me give you a little bit more context for why I think that. So this same phone that I built, when I built it, cost $600 new in the Apple Store. But a similar used iPhone would be like $250 to $350. And if you think about it, what I built at the end of the day really is a refurbished used phone. The most important part, the logic board, is a used part that came out of a working phone manufactured by Apple. So, you know, while my phone uh, might look a little bit nicer on the outside than your average used phone, at the end of the day, it really is a used phone. So my recommendation is if you really want an iPhone and you don't have a lot of money to spend, look for a good used phone. Look for a, a used phone that's maybe, uh, you know, a couple of models behind, 
uh, you'll be able to inspect it, make sure everything works, and you won't run the risk of breaking a really expensive part, like breaking a logic board, um, which would dramatically increase the cost for you and, and probably make you really sad. But if you're like me and you really want to understand how the inside of an iPhone works, building an iPhone or repairing an iPhone is a great way to do it. So if that's your motivation, go for it. Now, I've had some people who are trying to build their own iPhones message me and say the one part that they're having a hard time finding is the logic board, uh, which is you know really the heart of the phone. It's, it's essentially the motherboard of the phone. And unfortunately, I don't have a ton of great answers here. Um, you know, the people that I buy from aren't really set up to, to sell online. Um, they only really sell in person. They're very small. They don't speak English. Also, I'm not particularly interested in starting a business around exporting used iPhone parts out of China. Um, the customs issues are, are pretty tricky there, and uh, it's just not something I'm interested in doing. The best answer I can give you is to look at eBay, but if you've got a better answer than that, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Just don't post unrelated stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna delete it, and I'll probably ban you from leaving comments in the future. And if you do end up making your own iPhone, send me a picture. Um, there are links on ways to reach me in the, in the description below. Well, that about does it for this time, guys. I did want to say a huge thank you to everybody that sent me story suggestions and ideas. Uh, I've tried to read everything, but I, I really haven't been able to respond to it all. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, do feel free to keep sending me stuff. Um, I do try and read everything. I have to say, uh, I'm a little bit scared to release this video. Uh, it's not a big, huge, epic project like the first two. And uh, so if you like it, show me some love in the comments. Uh, and if you've got more questions you'd like me to answer, leave those in the comments as well. I'll read them all. I'm Scotty from Strange Parts. If you want to see more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button down below and stay tuned for more adventures. I'll see you next time.